What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys a top tier meta team to help you guys push high ranks considering the season ends in just a couple of days. You guys are in no deal if you do enjoy the content anytime. Make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But our first Pokemon that we're going to go over in today's team preview is going to be Light Clay Grimmsnarl. If you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know this is one of my favorite support Pokemon to use, considering it can set up Light Screen and Reflect in just one turn. It's got Prankster as its ability, and then Spirit Break and Parting Shot as its last two moves. We got Okie Doge in our second slot with Guard Dog and the Leftovers as its item. It's got Protect, Drain Punch for Stab Damage, and a little bit of HP Recovery, and Knock Off and Bulk Up for those Attack and Defensive Boosts. Fluttermane is in our third slot with the choice specs to make it do as much damage as it possibly can. It's got Moonblast, Dazzle Gleam, Shadow Ball, and then Rock and Power Gem to deal with any flying or even fire type Pokemon that are in the meta right now. We got Urshifu in our fourth slot with the choice scarf as item, making it super fast and just hitting like crazy. It's got Surgeon Strikes with Close Combat, Aqua Jet, and U-Turn to pivot out. In our fifth slot, we got the Fire Ogre Pond. This Pokemon is arguably the strongest Pokemon in Regulation E. It's got Mold Breaker as its ability, and then it's rocking Spiky Shield, Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, and Stomping Tantrum. Final slot is going to be Intimidate Hisuian Arcanine with Assault Vest as item to make it a bit bulkier up against special attackers, and then it has E Speed for first turn priority, Rock Slide, and Flare Blitz for stab damage, and then it has Terror Blast with that Fairy Terror typing. Guys, if you want to write the scene for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto our regulation E ladder and look to get some wins with this heavy meta squad. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against an Iron Thorns team. That's a Paradox Pokemon that I really like. And on top of that, they are rocking out with Ambipom. Ambipom is a great Pokemon, good physical attacker with a normal typing, and it does learn fake out, so we kind of got to watch out for that. I'm going to go Grimmsnarl in here as a lead. Really do like this Pokemon as a lead, and I'm also going to lead. Intimidate Arcanine? Probably, right? Actually, no, they have competitive Empoleon. They do have competitive Empoleon, so I do not want to do that from there. So I'm going to go Ogre Pond here for the lead. We're going to lead Ogre Pond and Grimmsnarl. And in the back end, I like Urshfu. Urshfu is going to be good because of the speed. It can hit pretty hard at the same time. Plus, it's going to be super effective onto a few of these Pokemon. Final slot, I could go in with Choice Specs, Fluttermane, or I could go in with Arcanine. Or I could use Okie Doge here. I like that all three thrive in this match but i think fluttermane with shadow ball could come up big i feel like it could definitely come up big or i could just simply go arcanine i kind of like arcanine you know we're gonna go arcanine here we got a few physical attackers arcanine can work wonders arcanine could definitely work wonders. it's got first turn prior to move it's got flare blitz which will be super effective onto the golden go and then it also has a nice lovely rock move that could be super effective onto the uh the Shrew edge but yeah, looking for a win here. Would love to just set up screens. I think they're going to lead Ambipom. And in that case, I'll just Spiky Shield. And yeah, there's Golden Go and Ambipom. And what's your Terra type, Grimmsnarl? What is your Terra type, Grimmsnarl? I'm curious. I'm curious. What is your Terra type? It's Ghost. That is actually gorgeous. That is gorgeous. So I'm going to set up a Light Screen turn one here. And I'm just going to Spiky Shield, just in case he wants to fake out this slot. But Ghost Terror type is beautiful. So he probably thinks of putting all the mask right here. Nah, we're going Ghost Terror type for support. I feel like that we can get a lot of value off of just Grimstrong going into Ghost. We can dodge the, uh, what are the moves called? The Steel type moves. We can dodge Fake Out. I like it a lot here. And then I pull off a Spiky Shield, just in case the Fake Out wants to come into the Ogre Pond slot. The Fake Out does go into the Ogre Pond slot. And now we get up a beautiful, a real pretty light screen here. And Ambipom takes some damage, so if it was sashed, you kind of get rid of it. The light screen comes out and about beautiful, awesome. And he's going to go for the Make It Rain. Oh, we love this turn. This is a solid turn for us. The light screen is going to help us out tremendously. We're able to soak. Make It Rain's doing a lot of damage. Big time damage. For no reason. For no reason. And I can set up the Reflect here. So I'll go Reflect. And on top of that, I'm just going to Ivy Cudgel down the Ambipom. I'm going to be honest here, because Golden Go could Terrasilize. It's already minus one on special attack. And it, and we have Light Screen up. And yeah, there's the Terra. Golden Go is going to Terrasilize here. Probably going to like maybe Water. No, it's you. What are you? You're going for some big damage here. I don't like that one bit. What's your speed at, little monkey? Hopefully, my boy can just outspeed him and can hit this thing with an Ivy Cudgel. 
and just take it out. That would that would be beautiful. No, he's going for a double hit. Who are you taking out? Or are you going after? You're going after him. And I'm able to soak. Thank you, Reflect. So Reflect coming in clutch. He's doing some big time damage. And he's going to take some recoil. So I'm going to Ivy Cudgel and I'm just going to give him a So you knock it off. You were going. See you later, Ambipom. We get a crit. We didn't need to crit. So probably chances are another Make It Rain is going to come out here. Might be able to pick up double KO, but I'm really hoping we can actually survive these shots. Might be choice. I think he's choice. We survive. Beautiful. Awesome. So Golden Go is minus two now. I would like to hit it with an IV cudgel just to KO it. I think Grimstrong, a perfect move for me, would just be parting shotting this left slot, whoever he brings in. It's going to be Clefairy. Okay, so Clefairy's just coming out here for support. It's just a support Clefairy. And honestly, I think... I think we just attack. I think we just attack. Do we try to get back some HP here? Yeah, I'm gonna try to get back some HP. I know Ivy Cudgel does a bit more damage, but I think we can eat up another Make It Rain if we just go into a Horn Leech here. And he ends up withdrawing Golden Go anyway. Okay, cool. Empoleon comes out here. Empoleon coming out here. And there's a follow me, so we get off a free turn. I love where we're sitting. Get off a free turn. One leech gonna come out here. He's gonna do some nice damage. We get back some free HP. We have some screens up. Back up to 66. I'll take that all day. And Spirit Break's gonna fly. And luckily, we went into the Clefairy slot. Because one, we get off some damage. And two, we don't trigger competitive out of Napoleon. But now, we stick with the Spirit Break into the slot. And probably just go Ivy Cudgel, right? Yeah, let's do as much damage as we can to Empoleon. Solid, solid. Yo, off to a hot start. Hot start. Real hot start. We have a lot of people on damage low right here. We have two great back end Pokemon. Golden Go, I'm not worried about. And plus, they already used their Terror type. The Flash Cannon flies, takes out our support Grimstraw. We set up the screens. We got off so much value with it. And that Terror type was just too perfect. Because if I did not Thrasilize it, it was dying to the first Make It Rain. Life Dude's going to come out here and he's going to get back some HP. I, I don't mind that too much. I do not mind. They get back some nice HP. From here, another Ivy Cudgel will actually KO Empoleon. What I'm thinking here is we just bring out the Urshifu. And we just go for Surgeon Strikes into the, uh, the Clefairy to KO. Because it, it will be outspeeding. But yeah, Surgeon Strikes here and then just a nice little Horn Leech over into the Empoleon slot. Just to get us back a bit more HP. Follow me does end up coming out here. Good thing my Urshfu does out speed. So, he will be able to KO the Clefairy here before my Ogre Pond goes. So then my Ogre Pond can hit the Empoleon with a Horn Leech. Maybe I should have went to Stop and Catch him. Would have been super effective. Would have done more damage. But I wanted some more HP recovery. So Horn Leech was the perfect move here. Plus, we got this match pretty much on lock. So I just played safe here for probably the rest of the match. Horn Leech flies through. Big time damage on the Empoleon. Give me your HP. Thank you very much. Back up to green. 108. We love it. We love it. Air Slash can come out here. Air is able to soak. Thank you, screen. Yo, I told you guys. Grimstraw support. One of the best support Pokemon in the game. No problem. Just soaks up. Just soaks up everything. So out comes Golden Go. I believe it to be Choice Spec. I have Arcanine in the back end to really deal with that. So I think from here, we're just going to drop a beautiful Certain Strikes. And then on top of that, I'm just going to Ivy Cudgel this Empoleon. The Certain Strikes going to come out here, do some nice damage. We're going to get rid of Empoleon after this. And yeah, we're, we're really thriving here. Wow, that's a lot of damage. That's a big time damage, yo. Urshu hits way too hard. <laughs> he hits way too hard in this game. Ivy Cudgel going to fly. I think Horn Leech might have been able to KO Empoleon, but I wanted to play it safe and made sure Empoleon died. So went for the Ivy Cudgel instead. Golden Ghost is just going to go for a Shadow Ball. And honestly, we soak that, right? With the Light Screen? We don't. How dare you? How dare you? It's all good. Now we're just going to bring out the lovely little Arcanine. And this poor Golden Ghost is up against two Fire Types with no Terra. GG's. Get match number one. Go into your boy. This is too easy. This is way too easy. Big time Intimidate. Let's hit that Flare Blitz button. And then hit that Ivy Cudgel button. Chances are our opponent cancels, and they don't. They let their poor little Golden Go die out. 
Ivy Cudgel finishes off the match. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and O to get things started. Let's go hop into a second and look to keep things rolling. Looking to go back to back here in match number two, going up against a Zapdos and Water Ogre Pond squad with Hisui and Arcanine just like us, and then a great support Pokemon of Tornadus, Golden Go, and Urshifu as two back end Pokemon. How are we playing this one? Screen seems like the way to go. Can't go wrong with screens. I'm bringing in Grimstone. I'll turn one here again. So I'm going to go there. I might also go in with Okie Doki. I think Okie Doki is not a bad Pokemon. They do have Intimidate. We can always guard down with that. And maybe just bulk up behind screens and really get things thriving. Right? I like that. I definitely like that. Because then we can always party shot out from there. So I'm going to go them too. I'm going to bring in the Ogre Pond in the back end. And then last but not least, probably go in the front. Yeah, Fluttermane just too solid here. I was going to say we go into uh, Urshifu, but having the Choice Scarf on Urshifu and potentially choosing into a water move with Follow Me, Water Absorb, Ogre Pond, that could be, that could just be a disaster, right? It could be really bad. Plus, they have Zapdos, who's super effective on the Urshifu. Uh, Ogre Pond's part Grass, it'll be super effective on the uh, Urshifu. It's just a little bit of a problem. Plus, and then Tornadus. Tornadus can hit him with Bleak and Storm. So, yeah. Fluttermane is going to be a little bit of a better option here, in my opinion. But screens are going to get off here first. So we get, ends up going Urshifu. Mm. Urshifu and Zapdos. I don't know how much I like that. And what do I set up here first? Light screen or... Reflect. I think we set up light screen first, because if he choices into or wants to use Surgeon Strikes, it will just deal some big time damage to me. But I am going to end up going into the Dragon Terror type. And I'm going to bulk up turn one here. I'm going to get a nice bulk up here. Dragon Terror type is going to be money. So if he wants to go for any water moves into me, it will be not very effective. And on top of that, if he wants to, say, go into Hurricane or some air type move into my into my Okie Dogie, we can actually soak that up. But the thing is, I'm scared of a close combat coming in here for first one. That can, that, can, that can be a little bit of an issue. <laughs> it could definitely be an issue. But Zapdos could be setting up a Tailwind here, trying to take speed control. They already have it, so there's really no point in setting up a Tailwind. Considering I, ha I have no Tailwind users out on the field. But this match, I think this one's going to be a tough one for us. Let's see how this one plays out here. But I get off the Terra. I go for a nice little bit of Night Screen. And maybe I should have set up a little fight because I have a feeling close combat's coming out here. And now we're just going to U-turn. I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. So he U-turns out. I'm kind of hoping he's going for like a hurricane or something into my Okie Dogie. But I could see a Tailwind coming out here. But the Dragon Terror type. Was that a mistake? Ogre Pond comes out here. And I, I like the Dragon Terror. I like the Dragon Terror here. Rain Dance comes out here. I, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I get off the bulk up. We have Lage Queen up. I think I parting shot into Ogre Pond at this point. And just save Reflect for later. Right? Yeah. I'm all about it. So I'll do that. I will just start throwing Drain Punches. Or I could knock off this thing's item. I'm just gonna Drain Punch Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond's gonna put on the mask. Get a special defense boost. Not too bad. I think Party Shot's gonna work perfectly here. Drop that thing special attack a little bit. We have the light screen up, and then we get out a different Pokemon that's nice on the back end. This is going to embody aspect up. The thing is, I'm scared of is what Pokemon should they go into from here? And that's the real question. It could be doubling down to my Okie Dogie here as well. Because I kind of want to go into Fluttermane considering it has a decent amount of speed. And yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather go into Fluttermane than Ogre Pond at this point. I want to save Ogre Pond here. I'm going to bring out the Flutter main. We'll see what they want to do. He's just going to go for an Ivy Cudgel. Can you go into Okie Dogie, please? No, you're going to go after my Flutter main. We, I don't like that. Oh, no, you're going to Okie Dogie. Perfect. Look at that. We soak. Lovely Terror type. Oh, you want to come in here, Hurricane? We're soaking. Beautiful Terror type. And of why you got to get Confusion? Can you please hit Okie Dogie? This is a big turn for you. You get back to me and HP. This game... I'm sitting so good. I'm in a good position here, too. That was good plays for us. If we just land that Drain Punch, we pick up some big-time damage on the Ogre Pond, and then on top of that, we get back some HP. That 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 sucks. I don't I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. So I could go Power Gem here. Oh, man, that's rough. And I think I am going to go Power Gem. I think I'm just going to go Power Gem, and I'm going to try to protect. 
We have a spiky shield, so that works out fine. It looks good for spiky shield. Ducks are coming out. Can I land this protect? Because I know Zapdos is coming after me. Two turns. Two turns to confusion. That is terrible. Power Gem's going to fly here. I don't think it's going to KO. And it brings him down to almost one. Oh, my lord. The luck aspect right now is ungodly. Ungodly. They just lucked out so, so much. Okie dokie plus one on attack. Should have been doing some big time damage. But from here, I feel pretty safe going into Ogre Pond. Considering Ogre Pond is rather fast, right? 150. Yeah, I like that. And I can stick with my power gem and just go for a whole niche into their Ogre Pond. That is just awful. That is just... Oh my god, it's so ugly. It's so ugly. So we're choice spec into that. I'm going to go for a horn leech here. And we'll just do that. Oh my lord. It's so bad. It's so bad. It really hurts the soul. Losing turns like that. It ends up withdrawing Ogre Pine. I'm cool with that. Because we get rid of Zapdos and we get off a free horn leech into this Arcanine. That's going to do about 5 damage. Actually, it's the Hisuian Arcanine. So it could do a nice chunk. And then potentially I could just swap my Ogre Pond next turn, save for later. He ends up detecting. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I do not mind. One Leech doing some nice damage. Um, how many turns are left in rain is the real question. One. I think from here we might just want to power gem the Arcanine. And just spiky shield here. Because Zapdos might swap. Zapdos could definitely swap here. But if it doesn't swap, it's definitely going for Hurricane into my Ogre Pond. So Spike Shield is going to be the turn. And I like the Power Gem into the uh, Arcanine. So he ends up swapping there. That's totally fine. Ogre Pond's going to come out here. And I can save my Ogre Pond for a little bit. And Rain will be dead. I get the Embody Aspect in. Gotta be kidding. Lovely little Embody Aspect. So I Spike Shield up. And we'll see what that Arcanine is doing. Maybe we can get off some big time damage here. How much damage are we doing here? Flood Immune. Oh, you're KOing. That's beautiful. That's lovely. We love that. We love that of you, Flood Immune. We love that. So Rain stops. They're forced to bring back out Zapdos. Zapdos could definitely detect here. And I might make that read. Oh, you have, you have, you have Urshifil? You, I, I didn't even realize you had another Pokemon. That's bad. That's bad news for us. I might rather swap Fluttermane. Yeah, I'm gonna swap Fluttermane. I'd rather have a, I'd rather be choice to a different move here. And then just go for Horn Leech and Who. I like Urshifu. Yeah, I'm gonna go after Urshifu. I'm gonna swap to Fluttermane. I want to choice into like Dazzling Gleam or something. More of a stab move and kind of get ruined from there. And I'm going to go back into Grimstraw. I totally forgot they had Urshifu. Totally forgot. And they let it too. I just forgot about it. But good news right here is I'm soaking up pretty well here. Can we go before the their Ogre Pond? That'd be nice. And no, they're going first. And you should be able to soak this. You do. That's beautiful. Because now Horn Leech comes out here. Does some nice damage. And we get back HP. Beautiful. Lovely. How many turns are left in Screens? We have two turns left in Light Train. There's no point in setting up a Reflect. There really isn't. I think best bet would be just a parting shot with a grip on. And just try to KO the Urshfu. Because I think their Urshfu is going to come after... Uh, I think their Urshfu is going to go after my Grimstone. And Fluttermane. Kind of need you here. Kind of need you to soak these up, but I don't know. That's a good match. This is a really good match. Did I bring out the Fluttermane here? It's another Surgeon Strikes coming out here. And we're just going to Surgeon Strikes him, and that's kind of close. 70 HP. Now nah, we're dead. We're dead. Really sucks. So we die out to that. I love Dazzling Gleam. I love the speed factor that we have, too. And I love the minus one that we put onto the Ogre Pond. The so swapping Fluttermane was a good call, and I still think we have a nice chance of winning this battle. It's just going to come down close. Well, Ivy Cudgel comes out here. You're minus one. And that did a lot of damage. 
That did a lot of damage. That did a bit too much damage, right? That did a bit too much damage. So from here, we're kind of hoping that Urshifu was choice, but not really because then it outspeeds me. I'm going to go for a Gleam. And I'm just going to go for a Spirit Break. That Ivy Cudgel did a huge chunk of damage. Well, let's see. Hopefully Fluttermane's just outspeeding. Picking up KOs. No, this thing's choice scarfed. He's Chewy Scarf just ripping. That's going to be game. So we tried our best there. Solid little match. We were swapping in and out back and forth, but they end up getting the best of us. Let's go hop into our third and look for that 2-1 winning record. Final match on its way. We'd love to go 2-1 for you guys. And we're going up against a Mudsdale team. Alongside with Team Lu, Sableye, who I hate going up against. I'm going to be honest with you guys. And then Dragonite and Carbink. I think that's what that Pokemon's called. Charbink, Carbink. Something like that. But Urshfu is going to be great here in this matchup. Same thing with Grimmsnarl. I could set up screens here turn one. And kind of just get cooking from there. Um, I, I am scared of the same I don't know why. Always has been a problem for me. But I might just go hyper offensive. Maybe just go Fluttermane and Urshfu. And just look to, look to just get after a match, right? That's not bad. It's not shabby. But you know what? Let's play it safe. Let's go screens here. We will bring Ogre Pond in the front. And then we'll go Fluttermane. That's the plan. That is the plan. Lock it in, lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three and get that winning record for you guys. But that last match, I feel like our opponent got so lucky. We had uh, our Okie Dogie, plus one on attack, plus one on defense. About to hit that Ogre Pond pretty hard, and if it would have landed that Drain Punch, we would have been thriving. But Confusion had other plans for us. Really doing me dirty. It hurts, because it would have did some big time damage and gave us enough HP to circle some shots and pretty much get the into the match that way. But Sableye comes out here alongside with Ting Lu. So I could Spiky Shield. I think we're not going to Spiky Shield. Because if he encores me into a Spiky Shield, I'm going to be upset. So from here, I'm just going to set up the simple Reflect. And I am going to just go into a Holy Cheer. So Sableye, rather annoying. Encore Fake Out. Disable can really do a lot and it, again it's just a it's just an annoying Like I always have problems dealing with it. But we'll see what he wants to do. He ends up just faking out the Grimstone. I'm thinking I'm gonna spike shield. I don't mind that turn. As long as we can eat up this heavy stuff, because I know it's coming in here. Big time damage onto the Ting Lu. Love it. He's gonna look to go for a, a Fisher. You gotta go. You got to go. You got to go. We're setting up this reflect here. I'm going to Thrasize and I'm going for an Ivy Cudgel KO onto the Tinglu. You got to go. <laughs> I'm not dealing with Fishers, man. Whenever I see, uh, whenever I see moves like that, I'm like, nope, not having any one hit KO move. Sheer Cold, Fishers, Guillotine. Nah, I, that Pokemon's got to go. Got to go right now. So we embody Aspect up. We're looking for some big time damage to finish off the Tinglu. On top of that, we set up the reflect. And Sableye, what are you doing? You let me attack. So this should KO Ting Lu. Should be some big time damage. Dude, this game just just hates me today. <laughs> I think it a crit. What is going on, man? Oh my lord, this game hates me today. Oh my lord, the amount of Pokemon that live on like one HP for me is terrible. And then he gets a crit. I knew foul play was going to do a lot of damage on his plus one attack, but come on with that. Come on with that. That ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Love it. Love it. Love losing matches like this. But, hey, we're still in this match. I'm going to double down the same fly here. Severe so break and choice to a dash of gleam. <laughs> oh, my Lord, man. Love this game. He's going to end up quashing me. Dude, if you land a Fisher. Please. Please don't. I have an odd feeling he's coming in here. I have an odd feeling he's landing a Fisher right on the Flutterman. Okay, Ruination. I can I can live with that. I can live with losing half HP. Fluttermane, Dazzling Lean. See you later, both of them. Cool. So we still have Urshfu in the back end. I like Urshfu. We're going to see their final two Pokemon here. But it is so terrible that I do not have my Ogre Pod. <laughs> It's so so upsetting dying one getting one shot by a save a lot. So zip zip zap zappity boops come out here Zapdos and Mud's daily comes out here as well. So I have 
reflect up, which is lovely. Setting up Light Stream is going to be a good friend of ours. So I'm going to set up that. And from here, I'm stuck with Dazzling Gleam. So I'm just going to go in Dazzling Gleam and do as much damage as I can. So we get off the Light Screen for Zapdos purposes. And Dazzling Gleam is going to get cooking here. And it is going to do not bad damage. Stamina gives him the defense boost. And Discharge is going to fly here. But can you guys eat this up? Any guys? You do. Both you guys. And, and, and here comes the power. Here comes the paralysis. Let's still goes for an EQ. And can you guys eat this up? I don't think you guys can eat this up. I'm sure all does. All right, Grimmy. We like that, Grimmy. So now I'm going to go into my Urshifu. Urshi, Urshifu. And I feel as I have the choice into certain strikes here. I got the Water Terra. That we can't use. We already masked up. And Zapdos. Bit of a problem. I mean, we have Light Screen, which is pretty solid. And they did not Terrasalize yet, so chances are they are going to Terrasalize. So I'm going to Parting Shot into the Zapdos slot. Just so I can get a, at least a turn off here. And Surgeon Strikes into the Zapdos slot as well. Actually, I think Surgeon Strikes will KO Zapdos regardless. So maybe do we just Parting Shot into the Mudsail slot? Yeah, I think that's our best bet. This is just Parting Shot into Mudsdale. And then just certain strikes into Zapdos and hope that it KOs, right? The parting shot coming out here. We'll put this thing minus one on attack. Pretty big for us. And yeah, we just we just, we, we just had to KO Zapdos here. And yeah, we got that. Okay, cool. So we KO Zapdos. Surprise it. I'm surprised they didn't terrestrialize Mudsdale yet. But of course I'm paralyzed. Now there's a chance of me losing turns to that, maybe losing the match. So EQ is going to fly here from Mudsdale. It is minus one. We do have Reflect. And Grimstone is going to go down here. But Urshifu, you should soak rather well here. Oh my god, that's that's better than rather well. That is way better than rather well. So again, they haven't Thrasslash yet. Really odd to see that they have it. And really depending on their typing here, it's going to be game. So I'll go for certain strikes. Their Terra has to come out here. And no, it doesn't. They're just going to give us the win. Just gonna give us the win here, no problem. Good game, good game. Stamina boost does nothing. We're hitting the crits. Wrap it up. Two and one for today's video. Wish we would have won that second match with our Okie Dogie, but hey, I'll take this victory all day. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two and one with this high ranked team for Regulation E. Absolutely love the Grimstone Roll. Perfect Pokemon, one of the best support Pokemon. Easy lead for me every single time. Then we got some backhand Pokemon like Fluttermane, Urshfu, and Overpond. Do some big time damage, just grab you guys some easy wins. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.